Hey, how's it going everyone? We are back with some more Sora Online on each blading and today we're gonna be summoning for none other than Sinan here who just released in game. Um she's a she's an interesting character. A lot of people are talking about her, um, about her being good or bad, but let's summon. Of course, you know me, I gotta go for all the dupes here. Uh you can get one from the new event if you do floor 20. And uh so we potentially we just needed someone for four of them. So uh, hopefully we don't get uh, shafted just like we did with the uh, Kirtan Asana banner. Hopefully we get some good luck like uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh banner which that went pretty smooth. Starting off with some sunshine in our life. We got the nighttime too. Guaranteed 4 star. Let's go. This has to be her right? The first character of the banner. Luck is on our side. Alright, so we haven't had a GGO. Okay, she pulled out the pistol. Mm, I like this animation. I'm not gonna lie, I do like... Sinan is one of my favorite characters in the game. Especially this version of, of Sinan, the GGO one. So her being in game after like, what has been like a year since we've had a GGO Sinan. So uh, definitely loving the character. However, her kit, oh, let's talk about her kit. Alright, but before we do that, um, I don't know when this video is going to go up. It could either go up Thursday, the day this banner came out, or Friday, because I am changing my setup a bit. And with rearranging stuff, uh, you guys, if you ever rearranged anything, you guys know uh, it takes time to get the things that you want. And I'm testing new stuff too. Uh, filters, uh, stuff like that, so let me know down below if it sounds better, worse, um, any advice is good. So, alright, so we need Sinons. We already got one. This is guaranteed 4 star, not guaranteed new, but it's a guaranteed 4 star, so we might actually get really lucky. Alright, that getting Sinon as the first character got me to with some high hopes right now. The Sinon is a very controversial character right now in the community because uh, we've already seen it. I went over her details when the collab information came out. But essentially, if you guys don't know, um, her skills are not that good. There's nothing really interesting about this Sinan, even though she's a limited edition character, uh, she has like the basic generic... Alright, let me just skip. There we go, Sinan number two. Two more to go, the Silent Sniper. Uh, she has a very generic uh, skill, or just uh, skill set. Let's see, uh, her assault gives the 15% additional damage when it's an assault link. The other one just heals weak and gives an RF plus one, nothing special. The charge lowers the enemy's incarnate break on you for 50%, which is sort of unique, but we've seen a lot of characters kind of have that already. And then, uh, looks like we're getting a 4 star. And then her incarnate is just a basic, it's just super strong attack, that's all it says. So when people read this, you know, uh, people are unexcited for her because it's a limited edition character you're supposed to have like something unique something that makes you strong and uh thanks Yuji. it could have been seen on but we did get a scene on all right Yuji, bring the luck one more wow we can literally finish off on this multi 50 percent chance let's test our luck today um but then uh before this banner would drop of course we always get the news and there we did get the stats and it was still a little bit underwhelming, you, you, got, you know, the stats, not her HP is actually pretty low for a limited edition character, it's like 6,500, usually they're close to like 7,000, 6,900, so she's not gonna have a lot of health, um, she does have good speed though, 316, and uh, her magic attack and base attack is basically essentially like similar, it's like 2,300 to 2,400 both of them so it's nothing too special so when people see this uh, they automatically get unexcited but I'm telling you right now she's she's good 
because one, she's her attack and magic attack is balanced. And what people don't understand about this game is when you're facing a boss, um, it really depends what type of characters you bring in because there's two types of characters in this game. Uh, characters that use magic attacks, of course, for the different sets. And then characters that use physical attacks, so like slash attacks, uh, arrow attacks, I guess, and stuff like that. Um, so there's two types of characters in this game. And uh, depending on the enemy you're facing, or the event boss, uh, you do more damage whether if it's weaker to magic attacks or base or like just physical attacks and depending on the character you do more damage and we're done all right we'll take that dub wow that was actually really paying this thousand cubes to master out oh, nice all right of course we gotta do one something for a weapon and uh so her having both magic attack and base attack up as high as they are evenly um, is gonna make her really good um, over time because one she's gonna be strong against the boss right now and then two um, whether it's weak it's a boss that's weak against magic attacks or physical attacks she's gonna have both attacks up so she's gonna be doing damage regardless of what boss uh, the weakness is so that's one thing that people don't understand about this character like being a limitation character with high stats like that and being able to be strong against basically all types of bosses in the, in the game is really good and of course because of that they they uh reduced or they nerfed how good she her skills are and that's why she's like more nerfed than uh, the other anniversary characters that we had. But I actually don't mind because now she's actually usable for all types of content. Of course, if, when you're using an Earth Element team. And um, I kind of figured they were do, some, do something more balanced with the Earth Element characters because I, as of right now, I believe the Earth Element team is the most balanced game in the uh, care, I mean, not game most balanced teams in the game and we didn't get her weapon nice nice but we still got some free summons here so let's do these real quick it's a pretty short video so might as well just do a couple of these uh, summons probably jump into some tickets as well but yeah uh, but with that information uh, you guys decide whether she's good or not I personally think she's gonna be alright. Of course you can't judge a character off what you read, you actually need to use her. So of course we're gonna be using her here, testing out her damage, um, how good she is on the team, you know all that good stuff. So let's do some tickets. Alright, let's do some of these season tickets. These are tickets for uh, this season pass, so hopefully we get some EX characters. I still need actually some EX characters. I'm going to release a video soon where I summon for EX characters because there are a couple I still want to max out so I can do the showcase videos because the EX characters, oof, they're, they're pretty strong. If you guys don't know what EX characters are, uh, they're basically essentially just characters already in game but since the, since, uh, the game has been released for almost, well, a little bit over two years, second anniversary and all that. Um, they're not as good in the newer events, just because these newer characters do a lot, especially with their stats. So what they did was they gave them EX skills, and what that does is they that makes them stronger, better stats, it upgrades their skills, and it does other stuff too. It also gives them the incarnate combo, which is a good mechanic, because you do more damage, you save turns, and you can work around that. So overall, um, EX hits are really good. I've seen what people, people have shown me clips of what they can do with the administrator and Rami. And it was insane, the damage they do now with EX skills than before when they didn't have any. And uh, we didn't get nothing, all we got was that <laughs> Selka for the animation, nice, nice. I'll probably just do one more 
don't want to drag the video too long for you guys. We already got what we came for. So, uh, we're going to probably finish it off here. Uh, if you made it this far, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Go down there, leave a like, and uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, plan to do a lot of new things next, this upcoming year, 2022. Uh, of course, we're still gonna do on um, blading. So uh, it's a main sta stamp, stamp, main stamp of the game. A game. I can't even talk today. It's uh, the channel surrounded on on leash blading. So of course we gotta continue doing on leash blading. Um, but we're I wanted to in introduce more stuff into the channel, such as the uh, let's plays for the console games. Probably do like a playthrough, walkthroughs on all those games. As well as probably return to integral factor for from time to time because I just stopped playing that game a long time ago. And I've been itching to go back, so and other stuff too. Um actually one of my ideas for this year was to uh introduce um what is it? It's like I wanna do something where I could collect hey we got Sinon. Sinon. But I wanna do something where we can collect like Sora online stuff, uh, whether it be pops, statues, or other stuff that seem interesting, and uh, show them off here to, to you guys and see um, if that would work out or what I could do with that. But that's gonna be the video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.